Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs and Reds are going to start a four-game set. These two teams are tied for second place in the National League Central, seven and a half games behind the division-leading Cardinals, and four games out of the second wildcard position. So one of these teams is going to be looking to make a move in this series. Today's game is actually going to be the first game of a doubleheader. The second game is a makeup from a rainout that occurred at Wrigley Field in July. Now, for game one, we go out to the field of play, and we will find that the Cubs lineup is going to include pitcher Mike Clevenger, who is making start number 23. He is 10 and 3 with a 301 ERA and a 108 whip. The Cubs lineup will include Jeter Downs. Jay Bruce, Chris Bryant, Danny Santana, Jackie Bradley, as Drupal Cabrera, Jason Hayward, Wilson Ramos, and Clevenger batting ninth. The Cubs' Sean Doolittle was injured in the last game, and Jeter Downs was brought up from Iowa as the replacement on the 28-man roster. And he is being slotted by Kerry Wood right into the leadoff spot and playing shortstop for the injured Bogarts. Opposing... Clevenger will be the Reds' Anthony De Sclarfani. He is making start number 27. He is 8 and 9 with a 504 ERA and a buck 36 whip. And the Reds' lineup will include Jankowski, Senzel, Cub Killer Nick Castellanos, Mustakas, Van Meter, Barnhart, Peyton, Galvis, and De Sclarfani batting ninth. It is 65 degrees, partly cloudy, no chance of uh, rain on this day, right? Cubs and Reds have had several rain out already this season. The wind is blowing in off the lake at 10 MPH. And let's head out to see Clevenger making his warm-up pitches on the mound. The Cubs and Reds coming in with identical records and identical positions in the division. Second place, 68 and 71 for both teams. Pivotal series here on the first weekend of September for either of these teams to take three out of four or sweep the series would just be so critical to continued success through the month of September. Now, Clevenger, with a 3-0 count, is working, and that is ball four outside. So the Reds' leadoff hitter is going to draw the walk. And now Senzel is the batter. Nobody out. Runner on first. Here's a 1-2 and two pitch. And that's lined into right field. Hayward coming in. He plays it on a hop. That is a single for Senzel. And taking second is Jankowski. So Nick Castellanos comes up now with nobody out, two men on. Clevenger working to Castellanos with a one and two count. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a slider. And he got that one under the bat for strike three. Mustakas now the batter. One out, two men on base. One strike pitch from Clevenger. Hit high and hard to deep right field. Hayward looks up and it is gone. The Reds take the three-run lead in the top of the first inning with a 412-foot home run into the right field bleachers. So Clevenger gives up the long ball. It brings up Van Meter with one out and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Josh Van Meter. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So he got him with the fastball. And now Clevenger faces Barnhart. Two outs and nobody on. 1-1 one, one count. Clevenger looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. Liner right at Jeter Downs. That is going, or as Dribble Cabrera, excuse me, Downs is playing short. So Cabrera makes the catch. That is out number three, but not before the Reds score three times. We're going to the bottom of the first. Cubs with a 3-0 deficit. Jeter Downs facing De Sclafani, leading off for the Cubs. Here's a 2-2 two, two count. And the pitch to Jeter Downs. De Sclafani looking for the sign. Here it comes. Strike three called. That is strikeout number 120 for De Sclafani. 
And it brings up Jay Bruce. One out, nobody on. One, one count to Bruce. Here's the pitch. Hit high. Deep right field. Jay Bruce got a hold of that one. That is going to be gone. Second home run of the day, 20th of the season. That was a mammoth shot. 450 feet out to right center field. So the Cubs cut into this lead. It's now 3-1 in favor of Cincinnati. Chris Bryant is the next batter. One out, nobody on. 2-2 two, two pitch to Chris Bryant. And he swings and misses for strike three. That was a sinker that was down, and Bryant swung like he had a hole in his bat. Danny Santana now the batter. Two outs and nobody on base. Full count pitch to Danny Santana. Another swing and a miss, and that is strike three to end the inning. So three strikeouts and a home run for the Cubs in the first. We're going to the top of the second of a three-to-one ball game. Clevenger facing Mark Payton here in the top of the second inning. Here's a full count and Clevenger with the pitch. Ball four outside. Clevenger issues another walk. That's his second of the day. Freddie Galvis now the batter. Nobody out, runner on first. One strike pitch from Clevenger. Here it comes. Lined into the corner in left center field. That's going left field. That's going all the way to the wall. Rounding second and heading for third. And he's going to stop there is Peyton. Bruce gets it back into the cutoff man. Galvis has a double. And the pitcher, Dace Sclafani, is batting now with runners on second and third. And nobody out. Clevenger's getting hit hard here in the early going. Let's see if he can right the ship. Here's a pitch. Popped up. Coming in fast is Jay Bruce. He gets under it. He makes the catch. The throw comes home. The runner comes home. The throw is in time. And Jay Bruce nails him with a strike to home from left field. So that is actually a double play. A fly out, throw out, double play. The runner Galvis advances to third. The Cubs now have two outs with a runner on third and Clevenger facing Jankowski. Here's the first pitch, and there's a liner up the middle. That's going to be a base hit, so that'll drive in the run. It is now 4-1 to one Cincinnati. Jankowski with the RBI single scoring Galvis. And now Senzel is the batter. He is 1-for-1 one one today. One ball count from Clevenger. Here's the pitch. Popped up to left field. Bruce is tracking to his right. Near the line, he makes the catch. That is out number three. The Reds score once. We're going to the bottom of the second of a 4-1 to one ball game. Jackie Bradley batting for the Cubs here in the bottom of the second inning. Here is the first pitch. And Bradley grounds it towards second. Picked up, thrown over to first. That is out number one. As Drew Cabrera now facing off against De Sclafani. Full count pitch, here it comes. Popped up, center field. Heading over and making the catch is the center fielder, Jankowski, for out number two. Jason Hayward now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Here's a 2-2 pitch to Jason Hayward. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So that ends the inning on a slider. We are going to the top of the third inning of a 4-1 to one Cincinnati lead. Castellanos facing Clevenger in the top of the third inning. Here's a full count pitch. Castellanos waiting. And there's a liner over the shortstop's head into left field. That is the fifth hit of the ball game for the Reds. And Castellanos will stop at first with a single. Mustakas now the batter. Nobody out. Runner on first. Here's a full count pitch and a pop up to right. Hayward coming in. He has a line on it. He makes the catch. That is out number one. Van Meter now batting with one out, one man on. Here's an 0-2 pitch from Clevenger. Swing and a miss for strike three. Big curveball and got him to swing over it. So Clevenger now facing Barnhart with two outs and a runner on first. Here's a one ball pitch from Clevenger. Lying past the second baseman into right field. That's going to be a base hit. Rounding second and heading for third is the runner. However, Hayward throws it behind the runner at first, but they don't quite get him either. Hayward thought that Barnhart took too big of a turn there at first base, but Barnhart scampered back and beat the throw. So Peyton now batting with two outs and runners on the corners. Clevenger continuing to struggle here in the early going. Here's a full count pitch and a swing and a miss for strike three. 
So Clevenger gets the strikeout on the changeup. We are going to the bottom of the third inning. It is a three-run Cincinnati lead. Ramos coming up for the Cubs to lead off in the bottom of the third, facing De Sclafani. Two and one count. Ramos waiting for the pitch. Grounder toward first, picked up. Steps on the base, and that is out number one. Van Meter gets that one, three unassisted. And now Tauschman is the batter. Kerry Wood is sending Mike Tauschman up to pinch hit for the pitcher's spot here in the bottom of the third inning. So Desclafani is going to face Tauschman with a three and one count. And here's the pitch. Lined into left cent right center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Tauschman has a one out single. And he's now standing on first as Jeter Downs comes up. One out, one man on. Downs waiting for the three and one pitch. Popped up. Might have been ball four. Shallow center field. Coming is Jankowski and he makes the catch route number two. Jay Bruce now batting with two outs and a runner on first. Here is the first pitch to Jay Bruce. And the runner takes off. He slides into second and that is safe. A stolen base for Mike Tauschman. He's 7 for 10 on the season. And Bruce now batting with a runner in scoring position and two outs. Here's an 0-2 pitch to Jay Bruce. Check swing, strike three. The inning is over. The Cubs strand the runner. We're going to the top of the fourth of a 4-1 four ball game. Tariq Skubal is going to be the new pitcher for the Cubs. No word on if he has learned how to throw a screwball yet. But that might be in the works for next season. So, Scooble facing Galvis to lead off the Reds' half of the fourth. Here's an 0-2 count and the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three, and Scooble strikes him out for the first out of the inning. Desclafani now batting. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch. Scooble looking for the sign. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. Got him with the fastball at 98. And Desclafani had no chance of catching up with that one. Jankowski now batting. Two outs. Nobody on. One and two count. Jankowski swings and he lines it into right field. Hayward on the run. He plays it on the hop. And that is going to be a two out single for Jankowski. Senzel now batting, two outs, one man on, 1-1 one, one count, and the pitch from Tariq. And that's a grounder toward third. Bryant shuffles over, makes the play, throws to second to get the lead runner, and that is out number three. So the Red strand runner, we're going to the bottom of the fourth of a 4-1 ball game. Chris Bryant now, appropriately enough, leading off the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's a 1-1 one, one count and the pitch to Bryant, and that's a grounder towards second. Picked up, thrown to first, that is out number one. Santana now batting, one out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one count and the pitch to Santana. Liner over the third baseman's head down the left field line. This will be extra bases for Danny Santana. Rounding first, heading for second. He slides into second with a double. Danny Santana, one out base hit, puts him in scoring position. For the next batter, which is Jackie Bradley. Bradley is 0 for 1 today. Cubs looking to continue to chip into this Reds lead. Here's a one ball pitch and a grounder towards second. Picked up, thrown over to first. That is out number two. The runner, Santana, advances to third and now has Drupal Cabrera is batting with two outs and a runner 90 feet away. Here is a full count pitch and a liner past the first baseman in right field. Santana will score. And Cabrera has the RBI single. In the bottom of the fourth inning, the Cubs have made this a 4-2 game. So Jason Hayward now facing De Sclafani with two outs. And a runner on first. One and two count to Jason Hayward. Popped up left field. Coming in fast and making the catch is Peyton for out number three. So the Cubs score again. They make the Reds lead two as we go to the top of the fifth inning. Nick Castellanos is going to lead off against Tariq Skubal, who is pitching his second inning of work here in the top of the fifth. Three and one count. And there's a check swing. That is ball four. So Castellanos draws the walk, and it brings up Moustakas with nobody out. Runner on first, one ball count, and the pitch to Moustakas. 
Hit high, deep right field. Hayward going back, and he's going to watch this one be caught on the warning track for out number one. Man, that was hit very hard. Hayward makes the leaping catch at the wall. That looked good coming off the bat, but it's out number one. Josh Van Meter now batting with one out and a runner on first. Here is the first pitch from Scooble and a grounder back to the mound. Picked up, thrown to second. No relay, however, to first. And that is going to be a fielder's choice for out number two. So Barnhart now batting with two outs and a runner on first. Scooble facing Barnhart with a two and one count. There's a liner in right field. Hayward's going to catch that one in the air for out number three. So the Reds get a run. The Reds get a base runner. They do not score. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a 4-2 ball game. Wilson Ramos facing De Sclafani to lead off the Cubs half of the fifth. Here's a full count and Ramos waiting for the pitch. Liner in right field. That's going to be a base hit for Ramos. He heads down to first. He stops with a single. And now Tariq Skubal is the next batter. However, Skubal is going to be taken down for a pinch hitter in this situation. So, Isaac Paradis is sent up to pinch hit with nobody out and a runner on first here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Paradis waiting for the two and one count. There's a grounder towards short, picked up, thrown over to first, and Paradis beats it out for an infield single. So that is going to be the second base hit of the inning for the Cubs, and it'll bring up Jeter Downs. With nobody out, runners on first and second. Paradis on first, Ramos on second. Here's a one and two count, and a grounder toward third. Picked up, thrown over to first, that is gonna be out number one. So for Jeter Downs, that effectively acts like a sacrifice as the runners advance to second and third, and now Jay Bruce is the batter. One out, two men on, one and two count to Jay Bruce. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. So Bruce can't get the ball out of the infield. And now Chris Bryant is the batter. Two outs, two men on. Cubs down by two, bottom of the fifth inning. Here's a one and two pitch to Chris Bryant. Here it comes. Swing and a miss for strike three. So Bryant strikes out, stranding the runners. We're going to the top of the sixth inning. It is a four to two ball game. So Paradis stays in the game to play short and Jonathan Loiza will be the new Cub pitcher. He comes in having thrown 111 and two thirds innings, 41 walks to 121 strikeouts with a 4.59 ERA. Loiza has done a good job of lowering that ERA since he has come to the bullpen. So Loiza facing Peyton here in the top of the sixth inning. Here's a one and two count and Loiza with the pitch. And that's a pop up to center. Going back is Jackie Bradley to the warning track, to the wall, and he makes the catch for out number one. Bradley almost ran out of room on that one, but the park held it. And now Galvis is the batter. One out, nobody on, one strike count, and the pitch to Freddie Galvis. And he pops up a bunt. And Loiza alertly heads over toward third and picks it out of the air for out number two. The pitcher, De Sclafani, is now going to bat in the top of the sixth inning with two outs and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch. And that is low, or excuse me, that is strike three called. Wow, the umpire rung him up. So the side is retired in order. The Reds still lead 4-2 going in the bottom of the sixth inning. De Sclafani is going to face Danny Santana here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's a 1-1 one -one count. And De Sclafani with the pitch. Grounder up the middle. Santana has it. Santana grounds out to Galvis. The thrower to first, and that is out number one. Bradley now the batter with one out, nobody on. Here's a two and one count, and the pitch to Jackie Bradley. And a grounder to second this time. The throw goes over to first, but Bradley hustles down the line and beats it out for an infield single. So Bradley on first now with one out, brings up as Drupal Cabrera. One out, one man on, 0-2 count, and Cabrera lines that one into left field. It goes over the left fielder's head. Oh, I thought he was in position for that. He misjudged it. He came in when he should have been going back. The runners are circling the bases. One run is going to score. 
Bradley goes sliding into third with a triple. And that is a 4-3 to three ball game. So the runner is on third. Peyton misplayed that ball badly out in left field. And now Cabrera represents the tying run with Jason Hayward up to the bat. The infield is drawn in with one out, and the shift is on. Hayward needs to get this ball out of the infield. Three and one count, Hayward waiting for the pitch. That is outside for ball four, so Hayward draws the walk, and that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. And the walk will prompt the Reds manager to bring in a relief pitcher. The new pitcher is right-hander Matt Bush. He has thrown eight and two-thirds innings, Allowed six walks, six strikeouts, and an ERA of 15.58. That might be the highest number we've seen this season. I'm not sure. So Ramos facing Bush with one out. Runners on the corners. Here's a one strike count and the pitch to Wilson Ramos. And here it comes. Liner into left field. That's a base hit. That's going to tie the ball game. Coming home to score and tie the game is Cabrera. Hayward takes second. And we have a 4-4 tie here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And now Isaac Paradis is the next batter. He comes out with one out and runners on first and second. Bush facing Paradis. Here's the first pitch. And it's popped up to center. Deep left center field. Going to be caught short of the warning track. That is out number two. Hayward is not able to tag up in advance. It brings up Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill is going to pinch hit for the pitcher's spot here in the bottom of the sixth inning. He comes up with two outs and two men on. The hero of our final game against the Giants earlier in the week. O'Neill facing Bush with a full count. And here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So O'Neill strikes out to the end of the inning. The Cubs score twice. We have a 4-4 tie going in the top of the seventh inning. And now Raziel Iglesias will be brought in. The former Red will face his old teammates here in the top of the seventh inning. The Reds are going to send the top of the lineup up. Travis Jankowski is leading off. He is two for two with an RBI in today's game. Iglesias... Has thrown 57 innings, 19 walks, 75 strikeouts, and a 2.35 ERA. Iglesias facing Jankowski with a 1-2 and two count. Looking for the sign, and here is the pitch. Popped up center field, going out as a shortstop Paradis, and he makes the catch for out number one. Senzel now is the batter with one out, nobody on. Here's a 3-1 and one pitch to Nick Senzel. Inside for ball four. So he heads down to first with a walk. And Castellanos now is the batter with one out, one man on. Don't give this guy anything good to hit. Here's a one ball count. And Castellanos drills it left center field. Kiss it goodbye. Castellanos has untied this game. It is now 6-4 to four in favor of Cincinnati. Two run home run. 406 feet out to left center field. The ball comes back into the field of play. And now Moustakis is the batter. With one out, nobody on. Here's an 0-2 count and the pitch to Moustakis. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So Iglesias blows that one by him at 97. And it brings up Josh Van Meter. With two outs, nobody on base. One strike count from Iglesias. And there's the pitch. Popped up left field. Coming in fast. Playing on the hop is Bruce but that's going to be a base hit with two outs. Barnhart now the batter. Two outs, one man on. Here's the first pitch, and the pitch out, and the runner goes. The Cubs pegged that one perfectly. They knew the runner was going to steal. They pitched out, and they throw him out at second to end the inning. We're going to the bottom of the seventh inning. The Cubs are going to have to score some more. It is a 6-4 to four Reds lead. And the seventh inning stretch today is going to be led by... Cardi B. So, Bush facing Bruce here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Bush, for his second inning of work, 
facing Jay Bruce, who is one for three with a home run in today's game. Here's a one ball count, Bruce waiting for the pitch. Popped up to left field, coming in fast is Peyton, and he makes the catch for out number one. Bryant now batting, one out, nobody on. Here's a one and two count, and the pitch to Chris Bryant. Grounder toward third, picked up, thrown over to first. That is out number two. Danny Santana now batting with two outs and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Danny Santana. And a swing and a miss at a high fastball. Santana is retired to end the inning. We're going to the top of the eighth. It is a 6-4 to four ball game. Iglesias is going to come back out to work the top of the eighth inning. He's going to face Bar uh, Barnhart, Peyton, and Galvis here in the top of the eighth. First pitch from Iglesias. Here it comes. Grounder up the middle. Shortstop Paradas has it, but it gets out of his glove. So that is a base hit. Yeah, they're going to credit him with an infield single. And now Peyton is the batter. Nobody out. Runner on first. Full count pitch to Peyton. Inside for ball four. Man, Iglesias continuing to struggle here for the Cubs in the eighth inning. And now Sammy T is going to be the new pitcher. He's been brought in to relieve Iglesias. He has thrown 40 and a third innings on the season, 24 walks, 41 strikeouts, and a 6.92 ERA. He's going to face Galvis, the pitcher's spot, and potentially the top of the Cincinnati lineup. So, top of the eighth inning, nobody out. Runners on first and second. One ball count, and that one gets away. Skips all the way to the backstop. The runners are going to advance to second and third. So a wild pitch for Sam Tuavela, and now he's facing Galvis with two runners in scoring position. Here's a three and one count. And Sammy T looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. That is ball four low. So the runner heads down to first. The Reds now have the bases loaded with nobody out. And Aristus Aquino is the new pinch hitter. He is only seen limited time this season. He is four for 13, but with three home runs, in those four hits and four RBIs. So Aquino facing Sammy T, nobody out, bases loaded, bottom, top of the eighth inning. Here is the first pitch from Sammy T. And a grounder towards short, picked up, thrown home. The relay is thrown to first, but it is late. So the Cubs prevent the run from scoring at home. However, they do not complete the double play. And now there is one out, and the bases are still loaded. Sammy T facing Jankowski. The infield still drawn in. Two and one count. Sammy T with the pitch. Liner up the middle. That's going to go through the drawn-in infield, get into center field. One run scores. It is now 7-4 to four Cincinnati. They have reestablished a three-run lead here in the top of the eighth inning. And now Nick Senzel is the batter. One out. Base is still loaded. Two available, still working out on the mound. One and two count. And a grounder to second. The throw comes home. The relay goes to first, and this time they do complete the double play. That ends the inning. A 4-2-3 double play. Not something you see in the scorebook very often. The Reds do score once. We're going to the bottom of the eighth of a 7-4 ball game. Ian Kennedy... One-time Cub is the new Reds pitcher. He's going to face Bradley Cabrera and Hayward here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Bradley is one for three today. Facing Kennedy with a one and two count. And Kennedy looking for the sign. Here is the pitch. Strike three is called. So Bradley is the first out of the inning, rung up on a fastball. As Drupal Cabrera is now the batter. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch to Cabrera. Outside for ball four. So Cabrera draws the walk, heads down to first, and Jason Hayward is the next batter. Hayward is 0 for 2 today. Facing Kennedy with one out, one man on, and a one ball count. And Hayward knocks that one into center field. That's going to be a base hit. The runner stops at second. That's a one out single for Jason Hayward. And now Wilson Ramos is the batter. One out. Two men on. Ramos, two for three with an RBI on the day. 15 home runs to his name this season. Here's a 2-2 count. And Ramos swings and misses for strike three. That was a fastball. 
at 92, and he was behind. So it brings up Isaac Paradis with two outs, two men on. Paradis is one for two on the day. Full count pitch. Paradis waiting. And it is inside for ball four. So Paradis draws the two out walk. And that brings up the pinch hitter Ian Happ. Happ coming up with two outs and the bases loaded in the bottom of the eighth inning. Cubs trying to claw their way back into this game once again. Happ facing Kennedy. One and one count. Happ waiting for the pitch. Kennedy looking for the sign. And that's popped up to left center field. It's deep, but it looks playable, and the left fielder catches it on the warning track for out number three. The Cubs leave the bases loaded as Hap gave that one a ride, but it was a few feet short. And now we go to the top of the ninth of a 7-4 Reds lead. Trevor Rosenthal is going to face Nick Castellanos here in the top of the ninth inning. Rosenthal has thrown 62 in the third innings, 37 walks, 70 strikeouts, with a 202 ERA. Rosenthal working with an 02 count to Castellanos. Looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, first strike three. Castellanos is sent back to the dugout with a fastball at 97. And now Moustakis is the batter with one out, nobody on. Here's a 3-0 pitch from Rosenthal to Moustakis. And that is low, it is ball four, so the one out walk is issued, and it brings up Josh Van Meter. One out. One man on, Rosenthal working with a full count to Van Meter. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, first strike three. So two strikeouts in the inning. And that brings up Tucker Barnhart. One, uh, one runner on, two outs. Barnhart facing Rosenthal with a 2-2 count. And popped up to center field. Going back is Bradley to the warning track. And he makes the catch. That is out number three. We're going to the bottom of the ninth inning. It is a 7-4 Reds lead. And now Mike Lorenzen is going to be the Reds pitcher. He is going to face Bruce, Bryant, and Santana in the bottom of the ninth inning. Lorenzen coming in with 50 and a third innings, 17 walks, 63 strikeouts, and a 3.4 ERA. Lorenzen working, 0-2 count. Bruce waiting for the pitch. Lorenzen is 11 for 13 in save chances this season. And that is strike three called on the outside corner. He got a slider that he snuck right in there for strike three. Chris Bryant now batting, 0 for 4 on the day. Facing Lorenzen with one out, nobody on. One ball count to Chris Bryant. Here's the pitch. Liner into center field. That's going to be a base hit. Bryant has the one out single. And the Cubs have a base runner now with Danny Santana coming up. Santana facing Lorenzen with runner on first, one out. First pitch to Danny Santana and popped up to short left field. Coming in to make the play is Peyton, and that is out number two. So the Cubs down to their final out, and Jackie Bradley is the batter. With two outs and a runner on first, Bradley with a 3-0 count, and he pops that one up. Short center field, the shortstop goes back, and he makes the catch. That is out number three. So the Cubs lose this first game of the doubleheader, 7-4, to four, as the Reds pull one game ahead of the Cubs in the chase for the playoffs this year. The Reds got seven hit runs on 11 hits with no errors, while the Cubs got four runs on 11 hits with no errors. The player of today's game is the Reds' Travis Jankowski. He... Managed to go three for four with two RBIs and a run scored. And the difference in this game, however, was the Castellanos home run off of Iglesias in the seventh inning. So Iglesias suffers the loss. He goes to three and five. While Bush gets the win in relief and Lorenzen gets his 12th save. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.